Hey Sagittarius, welcome back guys. I know y'all last, y'all at the end of the year, at the end of the row, like, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for your patience, because yeah, I have definitely been taking my time. Um, I actually had y'all's cards out yesterday, but oddly, Spirit changed that today, so it's fine. Um, yeah, but I feel like um, this year for you guys maybe a lot of various things it doesn't really look like a specific like theme for your year so let's get into it it definitely starts out with uh some type of emotional connection so that could be to family or a friend but we start out with the woman holding a heart so this indicates some type of situation or emotional situation in a family dynamic so that family, like I said, it could be romantic or like a sibling or parent. Let's see what this card is about. Let's get into it. Guys, please keep in mind that this is a collective reading. Not every single thing in this reading is going to resonate for you. Um, maybe most of you in, in different dynamics for, for you guys on top of that. So, um, yeah. If it is not something that's already occurring, understand also that this is for the entire year of 2024, okay? Whoa. So, starting with the woman holding a heart. Like I said, that's that Queen of Cups energy. This could be a mother, a sister, a sibling, a wife, anything, right? So, there's something... Mm -hmm. I feel like there's some type of discord in a connection or partnership here. Because look, okay, so something has happened or is happening where someone may be either moving on or like moving away from a certain situation, like a cycle ending in a relationship where someone could be either de feeling defeated or just stressed out about a, a separation of some sort. What's this for? And here with the hermit is that end result or the last card anyway. Yeah, this could be um a friendship that you hold dear. Could be a sibling, because we got that page of cups energy here. So you could be waiting for some type of message or some type of exchange here. Or really contemplating how or if you should give your energy to the situation anyway. Some of you guys are really doing some reflecting and thinking about this, which is likely why this strategy card comes up next. <sighs> yeah, because it just feels like an unhappy home. This doesn't really feel romantic. So this could be a friend um, or a friend group because of that Three of Cups as well as the Page of Cups. Also, a sibling, maybe even a child. Okay, but something about this situation or this relationship has been stressful. And it may have some of you feeling kind of out of balance or out of sorts as well with that um, Ten of Wands showing up there. But whatever it is, I feel like this relationship is not going, it's not moving forward right now for whatever reason. Because you have also the Five of Cups in reverse. And the Five of Cups suggests that um maybe this is something you were bothered by initially or like the way that you were looking at a situation initially is shifting just a little bit so now you may be kind of in the energy of like okay how can i fix this how can i learn from this how can we grow from this or through this right Yeah, because this feels like a disconnection. What's this Five of Cups spirit? This feels like a disconnection from the relationship, for sure. Yeah, you and someone else, or you or someone else, maybe being kind of stubborn here, whereas like forgiveness is off the table. Somebody's feeling like they need to either defend themselves Or they are contemplating like fighting for or defending this, this themselves or fighting for this relationship in order to heal it for sure. 
So maybe you guys have been stubborn in the past, but this feels like something that is going to come or lead to some type of confrontation or healing. But it's something that you're kind of going back and forth about. Like, uh, should I just let this go? Should I try to defend myself? Should I, like, some of you are trying to figure out how to, how to move about that. What's the queen? Some of you are just like, eh, I'm going to just take my energy, focus on myself. Send this situation love. Or some of you are, are like um, just putting boundaries in place or accepting boundaries, so to speak. But there's there's still some envy here. There's like some type of resentment here. Like an underlying jealousy. So that could be about this separation. About someone going their own way. And yeah, or about somebody's boundaries. I feel like Sagittarius, this is y'all's energy feeling like um, alone. Okay, I was going to say that. Feeling like secluded or cut off from a situation. So this could be family. This does not feel like romantic love. But, I mean, it could well be. So that's coming up for you guys. Probably now, because it was the first card out. And remember I said I had to shuffle y'all's cards again. Um, This was the first card out previously as well. So I know that's something that Spirit wanted to bring up for you guys. Like I said, also, you have that strategy card. And the strategy card is all about writing, journaling, creating a plan um, to move towards a, go a specific goal. Perhaps healing for you guys. Let's see what's up. Yeah. Someone, someone may be contemplating, like, will an apology be effective? What what can happen? What can I do to turn the situation around? Yeah, to restore balance to a situation here. What can I do or say or what actions can be taken? What's the night spirit there? I wasn't pretty sorry. Yeah, how do I heal this? How do I heal this situation? Because it feels like a tower, like a catastrophe here. Yeah, because somebody ain't speaking right now. Somebody is not speaking to the other person. Okay. Or both of y'all just not speaking to each other. Okay. So we have the lovers. The lovers is someone that you have an intimate connection or partnership with. This could be family, siblings that you've known forever, uh, cousins, whatever the case. But with that eight of cups, somebody's feeling like um, shut out, abandoned. That also that eight of swords, right? That is like no communication, nothing being said or not really knowing or feeling like they you don't have power in this in this situation like you don't have to say so so it's like someone may have like feels like a pause like someone's taking a step back but you may also be kind of hesitant because of like a resentful energy or maybe even a jealous energy or just the energy of conflict for sure i feel like someone's um not necessarily confident that someone will be open to communication. Okay, and for some of you, this could very well be a romantic partnership. That somebody's trying to figure out kind of how to how to work this work the situation in their favor. You know what I'm saying? 
Something about it, though, feels a little manipulative. A little bit. Yeah, and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> okay? Something feels a little manipulative here. So you may be either needing to check your motives or check the motives or any of any other people involved in this. Are you wanting to win or wanting to be right or wanting to restore balance in the situation? Um, and if it's someone else, like the person coming towards you, check their motive as well. Because here we have the caring connections and the healer of the ages. So with caring connections, that's usually a romantic relationship or partnership. But with the healing of the healer of the ages connected to that particular card, yeah, there's some discord here. There's some discord in the in the relationship, and it's causing somebody to lose a little sleep. It's got them feeling a little off balance here. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I mean, it's, it just really feels like discord with that Ace of Cups energy connected to that Three of Wands in reverse. It's like, yeah, it's hard to feel the love because of everything else that either has already transpired or that you're feeling right now. For sure. Because of like the instability of the relationship and the discord that's between you and whoever this person or people are. It's like we just not see an eye to eye on, on it, things. So that makes it even harder to, to try to reconcile or to talk or to work it out or present this offer of love. But I feel like someone is wanting to or going to do that. But someone may also be kind of defensive, like not really trying to hear that. Because it feels like we're just not on the same page. Yeah, like if this is a romantic partnership, someone's definitely resistant to hearing this person. Maybe even not believing that they love them. Got that Ten of Pentacles. This is a family dynamic for sure. Could be a mother. Or a mother figure. But it's like with that Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles... Let me see, honey, because somebody could be highly intuitive. Uh, so we have the hangman, but it's in reverse. Okay. And the queen of swords. So I do feel like there's a conf confrontation that's coming. I say confrontation. I mean, y'all gonna talk about it, right? We ain't got to be arguing and shit, right? I see uh, 1313 on the clock I just saw. So threes are all about um, creating, like manifestation, creating your reality. Um, and ones are new beginnings. So this is definitely something that I feel has the potential to recover. But it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't, it doesn't feel like time is necessary, but I feel like someone's going to change their perspective about something. Where, I, where either someone hasn't been willing to talk or someone's been waiting to figure out or trying to figure out if it's even worth talking about. Yeah, I feel like something's going to happen there. And there could be somebody who's kind of mediating that for y'all. But something's going to happen where you guys are willing to at least meet at the table, so to speak. Okay. We also have... um. That justice card showing up. But the justice card is in reverse. So I feel like, like I said, somebody's just struggling to bring balance to the situation. Maybe somebody, somebody you guys likely are feeling like something is unfair, right? Well, whatever this is, I feel like it really needs your attention. Maybe even your loved one's attention. Ooh, my ears just did a thing. And with the healer of ages, of the ages here, that's that Jesus energy, that Christ energy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um would suggest that there are there may be something being done in the background to kind of bring healing to to the situation. Somebody's choosing to fight for this situation. However, divine timing is at play because there we have that temperance card. Divine timing is at play. And there may be someone here. What's this seven? I do not like it. Yeah, there's an energy of deception here. Okay. So someone is either not being honest with, with the other person. Or they're not being honest with themselves here. I feel like there is a need to plan, maybe even strategize, or really just, yeah, think. That's exactly where I was going with that. Just really think and to evaluate the situation, to look at it clearly. And to be honest, to be honest, to speak truthfully. Because I feel like something's happening where somebody's belief or mindset about the circumstance is being shifted here. Which is why I've got that healer of ages. That's going to lead to forgiveness. It's going to lead to healing here. And like a wish fulfillment. Something coming coming to full fruition. So to speak. Okay. So that's pretty interesting. The next card out. That we have. Is the sixth chakra. And that's Archangel Metatron. Also the third eye. Okay. So, Sagittarius, I feel like you guys um, are, are being offered some type of clarity here. Archangel Metatron is either trying to strengthen your third eye or trying to help you see something that perhaps you've been either uncertain about or going back and forth about. This could be about yourselves or a mother figure with that Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. I feel like this is about the same person. Yeah, I feel like there's still like a component to this circumstance or situation that is yet to be seen. But it may be revealed to you like um, intuitively. So this could be something coming, either coming to light or playing out where you kind of are like, you know what? I knew that this was going to happen. I knew that this was going to happen. And this could be... Um, yeah, there's like there's like um a lesson. There's a lesson here. Something was meant to meant to, yeah, a truth that's being being revealed. But I don't feel like it's like somebody telling you. I feel like it's like a divine intervention kind of thing. Where you either see something or you see true colors here. Or you realize something. Some of you are realizing that you are not as alone as you thought you were. Yep. Some of you are seeing someone else's loving heart. So this could be someone that you had either evaluated or looked at from the wrong perspective. So I feel like um, Archangel Metatron is going to be helping you to see that this is somebody that you try to perhaps distance yourself from or disconnect from. For some of you, this is a, um, a masculine person partnership. Whew. Yeah. This could be something, and, and it could be, I feel, mm, hold on. 
Yeah, I feel like for some of you, if if this this masculine energy here, there's something here. Like somebody's love bombing, right? But it's like where you've been stuck not wanting to make a choice about someone or something that's kind of toxic. Something is happening where you are needing to take off some rose-colored glasses. Okay? So Archangel Metatron is definitely trying to help you to see that situation for the truth of it. Um, this next card out that we have is the Envy card. Okay. So some of you may be exploring the negative emotion of Envy. Because <laughs> that's what the hell it is. Um, yeah. It's toxic energy. That may be uh, keeping you stuck in a cycle here. Yeah. Yeah. And and maybe even boosting boost your ego or affects your ego in a way because of certain insecurities. So some of you are just having um yeah having some lessons regarding that this year for sure. You may be looking at how your insecurities hold you back, and when I say insecurities, I I say things that you feel you lack, right? You may be looking at how those things keep you from either having new experiences or trying new things or um, taking certain risk in life, right? Th this is also, I feel, something that you guys didn't really want to see. Kind of the energy of like, nope, I don't, I don't have anything to change. I'm not jealous, but that's exactly what it is. Yeah. So when you've been slow to... See this in your shadow, perhaps. I feel like you're going to turn the corner on that. Some of y'all have been so stubborn. <laughs> this And hesitant, right? Maybe even thinking everybody else is jealous of you kind of energy. Or you may be jealous of someone's connections in the family or jealous of someone's success even or progress even. Yeah. But this is this is family. Yeah, I feel like you're going to see that and, and have a shift of mindset here. Okay. With that Ace of Swords, there's clarity coming for you guys about that. For some of you, you you may be the target of envy, but that's not how that looked at all. Uh, the next card out that you guys have is adjacent possibilities. And that really is just saying that and something that you had an opportunity for, or you have an opportunity for, it's a possibility. There is something else or another way to go about Achieving the, the same or a similar goal that is just as rewarding, fulfilling, or what you desire. Yeah, and I feel like this is regarding growth too. This is regarding growth in relationships, maybe even also emotional relationships. This does not feel like business or even romance. This feels like this same connection we've been discussing. Some of you guys may feel like um, something's holding you back in this regard.
some of you guys may feel like you've only had you, you only have two options in, in a situation or one option in a situation. But I feel like something's coming in. Someone's coming in. It could be a man or masculine. Someone's coming in and it's going to show you or teach you something that says, oh, I hadn't, where you may be like, oh, I hadn't even, even thought about it or looked at that from that perspective. Okay. So definitely stay aware. Um, stay aware. Let, let me, let me go ahead and go with that because here, yeah, whatever this is, we have the thinking woman here and walking away. So I feel like uh, that could be that, be that Queen of Pentacles energy or the Queen of Swords energy. <sighs> yeah, so I feel like this is someone who is intuitive, who is traditionally intuitive, maybe even spiritual here. Someone who seems kind of courageous, who is a truth speaker, who is a, a leader here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. This could be someone that you are connected to or have some type of connection to. That you've either walked away from or they walked away from you. And egos could be at play here and may keep you from repairing something. However, yeah, and this is somebody that you've known for some time. You guys have history, okay? Again, could be family as well. You may either feel like this person dis didn't support you or doesn't support you or something was one-sided. Just definitely a lack of harmony in the relationship. But there's a desire here to work on something which may be out of your traditional comfort zone with that walking away card. It, it feels like it's time to let a petty argument go. That's how it feels. But also with the thinking woman and the magician here, there could be someone in your life who's either advising you of that or something that ha something that happens in your life that advises you of that. With that magician in the mirror, um, that card usually suggests that there is something or someone in your life that is reflecting something back to you. And what I mean by that is there's something you're supposed to be learning from that person or that situation. Something that maybe you're supposed to be seeing about yourself in that relationship, that partnership. Yeah. What am I saying? What I'm saying? What I'm saying? There's a lesson here that you guys are either stubborn or too stubborn to see. But yeah, whoever this person is, they were meant to show this to you, meant to help you to see something clearly. But you may be either so in your in a stubborn energy or so emotionally connected that there's a need for you to take a bit of a step back so that you can see this and have this new start, a new beginning. But I also feel like... Um, Yeah, I feel like in divine timing, this is something that's going to unfold because it's something that your guides are trying to see. Where, like I said, someone either may not have been open to something or they've been resistant to this. But th this is all about lessons learned and applying learned lessons. Definitely uh, forgiveness is given, okay? And I'm not saying you have to forgive someone. I'm saying that that's part of your lesson here. There's something here that you are supposed to be forgiving and switching your perspective on. Okay. With the appreciation card, even though it's been a rough cycle. Yeah. There's something positive that is to come from this. Maybe even like some type of learning experience. But also with this indecision... There is a choice to be made, like to go this way or that way. And perhaps making this decision is a part of your journey. Yeah. 
Yeah, some of you guys feel like, okay, something hasn't been fair uh, or or it's really difficult to to bring balance to or restore balance to like you thought it wasn't possible. But with this Knight of Swords, there is, yeah, and the Judgment card here, something that was dead is being awakened and it may start with an apology. Yeah, somebody wasn't talking. Oh, that feels sweet. Um, right now, some, somebody wasn't talking, but something is going to happen that stimulates some type of conversation or action here that restores balance. But, uh, hold on a second. Someone has a choice to make. Someone has a choice to make about that. This really feels like a dynamic of more than one feminine energy, like three different feminine energies. Where it almost feels like a love triangle, guys. But not romantic. Does that make sense? So this could be cousins, aunties, aunts, unc not uncles, aunts, siblings, mothers, whatever the case for you guys. Let me know how that part resonates because that is spooky <laughs> for me personally in my life. Um, yeah, because, you know, I got a family full of women. Anyway, I'm not a Sagittarius though, so here nor there, but my sister is. Okay, so let's take a look at romantic love. This is a part of your journey as well, I believe, because the first card out is the crown chakra. Yeah, da, da, da. And actually, guys, you have the crown chakra. This finding balance card, which is in, in traditional tarot, is those two coins where you're juggling, trying to keep things balanced, and the devil card. So for me, as soon as I laid these out, I was like, okay. So this is literally like a battle between good and evil. I just saw three, two, two, three on the clock. So some of you guys could be um, dealing with addictions or a toxic love situation or um, dealing with someone who is fighting addictions or um, someone who is learning to maybe master their temper. What do we have for crown chakra? But the crown chakra, guys, is all about your connection to God, to source, to divine. Okay. All about it. It's all about how you perceive certain things, um, how you interpret them based on your connection to God, to source to the divine. What your understanding is of what is occurring. So with the lover's card, what's the lover's card? Because that's often like an affair or third party situation or a decision or a choice being made. So someone may be wanting a deeper commitment, Taurus energy, Gemini energy is here, Pisces energy is here, Leo energy is here, or something that's more traditional here. Mm -hmm. This could be someone that they've been committed to here, but you may be either trying to figure out how to create a transformation in this relationship or maybe accepting that something's not moving forward and it's time for things to change. In the way that you want it to. It's not moving forward. So if this is. If you are someone who's already married. You may feel alone in this partnership. Or in this relationship. Or if you are someone who desires marriage. There's some, some type of. Something that, that's coming through that you'll be evaluating. Mm. 
Yeah, some of you may be holding on to something that you feel was unfair to you. And you may be having, or is unfair, and you're having a hard time either walking away or letting it go. Like holding on to some type of resentment. Or holding on to like um, an un, yeah, I was going to say that, an unseen or unexpressed hope for reconciliation with somebody who was not fair to you. But that's like your ultimate wish fulfillment. But it feels like a third party. Mm-hmm. It feels like a third party. For sure. This is somebody who has either breadcrumbed you or who makes promises that they don't deliver on. Okay? So, like I said, some of y'all may be feeling alone in a, in a relationship or partnership. But it's like... On the outside looking in, you may make it look like it's all gravy. But it's really unstable. And you're uncertain about it. And you may feel like it's all on you. Like you, yeah. Some of y'all feeling like I'm trying to force some. Like I'm trying, like trying to make something work. That you don't want to maybe either admit accept or see that it's time to let go of okay so with the find balance card also finding balance is about yeah mastering your emotions in a situation it is um about really finding like emotional balance and harmony don't don't let that person drive you crazy sis. <laughs> or or bro don't let don't let her that make you think you wrong for wanting more, whatever the case is, right? So mastering emotions could be staying balanced, staying sane in that situation, letting go of what you feel is toxic or maybe even holding you back. Yep, yeah, look at that. You see how that came out? That's the seven of swords, whether you can see it or not. So somebody could be lying to someone or you could be not being honest with yourself about a situation here. And it's time for that with the 10 of wands to, to let go of that, to let go of that. Um, crazy that that folded out that way. Yeah. Cause some of y'all are intuitively dealing with somebody who may be a player who may be inconsistent who may, who you may know for sure is juggling you and someone else. For sure. But you may be hoping for a future, but this person has you as a third party. That's what it feels like. No sh no shit. There could be a financial connection here. Either with the current person towards Virgo Capricorn, King of Pentacles is showing up as so somebody who's financially stable and secure. But it's like this person is not giving you what you need right now. You don't feel completely happy in this. But you may be putting on like something's acceptable here. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to let go of that. Um, the the rose colored glasses where you've been either uncertain or unsure about it. I'm trying to appear detached here. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be some type of confrontation here. That could lead to an ending in this relationship where you take your power back from this person. Yep, because this devil card energy is all about breaking chains as well. Okay, I feel like as you do that with this six of swords, healing begins because you allow yourself to try to, to finally move on. You get to move past that conflict. Okay, that five of swords conflict, that seven of swords seek the truth. That's the card that um, I just showed you guys with the, with the sneaky energy, the, the, ugh, the deceptive energy. Okay, so something is going to be revealed, perhaps about this, this eight of coins energy, third party, um, that dedicated effort. Like I told, I don't know, I said it on a previous reading. 
It, well, I think it was a personal reading. Every time I try, <laughs> well, like when Spirit shows me this card, they already know that this is, for me, a third-party card. Like, it's three people involved, right? Um, yeah. So, with that and seek the truth here. So, this could be someone seeing something or realizing something that what? With that two of swords, they've been refusing to see. Either that something's not going to change or someone is not who you think they are. Some of you may be thinking you've met your husband or you've met the person, your soulmate, or this person is me. And no, I'm going to just say, no, that's not what that is. And I feel like it's going to come out over this next year. Not even come out because I don't feel like this is something that you don't know. I feel like this is something that you just haven't accepted. So there's an energy of acceptance coming here around this emperor. You guys can be dealing with somebody 35 or older, perhaps even a father or father figure. Husband or husband potential. But with the seek card, that's that uh, hermit energy. I feel like you will be not only asking for answers and trying to get clarity, but you'll be getting that same, that clarity as well. And maybe even spending some time in solitude by the end of the year. So that one, you can break the chains necessary, but also so that you can see something for the truth of the matter. Okay. And so, yeah, remember we talked about the journey card and the crown chakra energy. Your first card out, guys, is rebirth, okay? The rebirth says no matter what happens, you can find new wings, rest from the past, rise from the past, I'm sorry, accept the positive change that is coming. So there's definitely an energy of change for some of you. You have the power card. This is you standing in your own power freeing yourself from certain toxic dynamics for some of you letting go of the ego um, and maybe even getting out of your own way. But it says the greatest dragon is within you. You also have cycles here, of course, um, which is all about life cycles, right? Things that end, in, end, even if it feels like a painful ending, leading to beautiful new beginnings it says we are all becoming so surrender to your changes, release your fear and trust this powerful process. So I feel like that is a major part of, <laughs> I just heard some of y'all say like, damn more. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Sagittarius. Um, you know, life, that's the only constant in life is change. And so I feel like this is just like a different phase of it. That's why when I'm, um, we talk about the awakening. You will hear most people who've actually experienced it say that awakening is not just a one and done kind of thing because there are certain phases that you awaken to, certain things that you awaken to, clarity that you awaken to at different points. And then sometimes we have a tendency to kind of slip back just a little bit into old habits and old ways. So then spirit has to do something or show you something in a different way, but it's like the same thing. It's like, I knew it. I just needed this reminder to, to finally let go all the way. Right. That kind of thing. So, um, yeah, you also have the sacred space, which says to find your power in stillness. That is this hermit energy here. Um, you also have here union, right? But it's about, uh, but it's connected to discernment as well. Okay. So the union card suggests that you have seen and unseen allies. You know, I strongly believe we are never truly alone. Um, but also like even, even like never in life, just never, right? You are always divinely accompanied for everything. I know. But, um, so some of you may be realizing just how supported and loved by God, God, by source, by the universe you are. Some of you may be seeing that people that you thought were against you are actually for you. People that you thought were for you were actually against you with that discernment card. Discernment also says, see the truth of the situation. Use common sense and do not be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows and then, thankfully, we got clarity here. I just saw four, 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 four on the clock. We got clarity here, which says, banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Okay? So, that I feel like that's going to be a major part of your year as well. Um, Listen. 
Sagittarius, whoever it is I'm talking to today, y'all might really resonate with the Phoenix. Okay. The Phoenix or the dragon. Cause it's like one, two, three dragons here. Plus that Phoenix. So I feel like there's something here where you guys are really realizing like either your power to change certain things with that dragonfly showing up, your power to change certain, certain things, your power to disconnect from certain things or let go of certain things. You realizing who you are and how, how you, how powerful you are as an individual. Last but not least guys, we have the mercy card. Some of you guys are just learning to be nicer, to be kinder, to let go of maybe even some anger and to show more compassion. It says, let let compassion fill your world, offer kindness to all living things. What you give, you also receive. So um, I want to go ahead and clarify that particular card because what I'm thinking right now, I don't really ever think that about this card. So there may be a reason for that. Not maybe. There's not to be a reason for that. <laughs> what is this mercy card for our Sagittarians? And then we'll end this reading here. Hmm. What's the 10? Oh, too many. Yeah, some of you deal with or carry things. That you don't have to carry alone. So that could be you delegating to other people or sharing your load or your burdens or allowing other people to support you. And this could be people in your life or people uh, or, or like the spirit realm, right? It's like. Yeah, some of you guys do it all alone, but then you resent those around you for not helping you, but you don't you don't like nurture connections like you want that help. That's what it looks like. Some of you are realizing this. So it's like you create this you you stand in this resentment. But it's like a dynamic that you created. Okay. So yeah, some of you are opening up to doing that differently. For sure. Yeah, letting your defense defenses down, really being able to see that you are not alone, becoming more connected to nature, to the divine, like I said, and you're moving forward in that energy. Yeah. It's going to lead to more compassion, more forgiveness here. Some of you guys even apologies. Okay. So if you find yourself being hard on someone or hard on others or some of y'all hard on yourselves, um, even though that's not what it looked like. <laughs> Um, this mercy and compassion is going to play a, a major role in your life this year. Um, and that reminds me yesterday, I think it was yesterday I made a post, um, cause I saw something and, um, a, a few people have mentioned it, that this is the year of support, being able to show others support, um, because you may realize or see that, it's better to be to others <laughs> that because one day you're going to be on the other side of that where you're needing and wanting that support. Right. But what you put out is what comes back to you. So that's, that's going to be interesting in your lives in 2024 guys. Overall, I hope this was helpful. I appreciate your patience or uh, helpful, insightful, giving you, gives you some type of heads up. Definitely stay tuned. Um, yeah, because this is kind of predictive. We're definitely going to still be looking into what's happening now um, as we move throughout the year. So 
So yeah, maybe this is one of those ones that at the end of the year you'll want to come back to. I hope it was helpful. Five high.